single setback. Jaquees Terry. He'll get the opening handoff. Tries to work that left side and got back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. Terry goes in motion. A little pressure, quick slant passes in and out of the hands of the intended target, Matt Hurdle. Pass is dropped. Would have been right on the first down line, but Hurdle couldn't hang on to it, and so it's a three and out for Kent State. Matter of fact, Kent State hasn't had a winning season since 1987. Spencer Keith airmails it out of bounds. Got popped as he let it go, looking for Ishawn Good. Eric Adeyemi on an end around is leveled by C.J. Mosley, the sophomore linebacker out of Theodore, Alabama. Keith, little roll out. Sam Kirkman, the intended receiver, was there. Ball a little bit behind him. Single setback, Jacquees Terry. I like how you think, Andre. <laughs> right in the middle of that line, no game. Drag back, Courtney Upshaw, first one there. And the defensive backs, they've got arguably maybe the best back group in terms of uh, when, how long they've been at Alabama. Pass complete out to the 34-yard line, a gain of only four. Keith just completed his first pass of the game moments ago. Out of the shotgun. Off the hands of Matt Hurdle and Dre Kirkpatrick. So 344 to go in the opening quarter. Keith hammered. He's dropped for a loss back at the 12-yard line. Courtney Upshaw along with Daquan Minzy, a loss of nine. Second down. Little draw play. That goes to Murray. Nothing happening there. Just a couple of yards. That'll bring up a third down and let's call it 15, maybe 16. Monte Hightower slipping up to the middle of that line of scrimmage. Here he comes. They pick up the blitz. Hightower shakes his man and drops. Spencer Keith. Will play fake to Terry. Keith will throw on the run. Gain of five. Kent State looking at a second down and five. Ball sits on the 32-yard line. Right through the hands of Eric Adeyemi. Robert Lester on the coverage. And just about everybody's back. Keith throwing down the side. Incomplete. Matt Hurdle had his paws on it. Couldn't hold on. His position coach as a freshman at Ohio State, Daryl Hazel, the head coach of Kent State. All right, I'm talking about Duran Carter. You go to that Yahoo video of his workouts, and he was out just, you know, working out. Second down. And seven. Keith, the quick hitter. Mark Barron steps up to make the play on good. Three-man rush. The Tide fall back. Pass is caught. At the 45 goes Tyshawn Good. And he's met there by three or four crimson jerseys. A gain of seven, but well shy of the first down mark. And now they have the football back at the 19-yard line. Incomplete. Take a look at this Kent State drive chart, and it is ugly. See Dre Kirkpatrick at the top of your screen, and Dante Hightower checks the defense. Nice catch on the outside. And they have a lot of depth on that side of the football. Little receiver slip screen, and... First down for Kent State out over the 30 to the 33, maybe four yard line. That was some defense. Keith going up top. Could have been picked off. Little play action. Some room now for Keith. He'll decide to tuck it and run, and he's going nowhere. Courtney Upshaw right on the spot. 
Yeah, he's one of their best outside pass rushers. You combine he and Dante Hightower, you got some legitimate guys that can get after the passer. Well, Hightower and Upshaw converge on that tackle of Jacquees Terry, gain of two, and looks like we'll see that Kent State punt team again. No gain, maybe a loss of a yard. Well, he checked the play away from Upshaw because he thought they were going to get a blitz look from that side. Former Alabama Crimson Tide cornerback Javier Arenas, part of that 2009 national championship team. What brings you out today, Javier? Uh, a few days off, you know, uh, figure I'd come support the guys, uh, watch some college football and enjoy it, you know. But uh, it's just a, a well put together defense. A lot of people think this team has a chance to play for the national championship. Why do you think that's the case? Well, because it's a Nick Saban, uh, it's a Nick Saban football team. Uh. Robert Holloman getting his first action at running back. Late handoff to Robert. Get a couple. Dante Hightower makes the tackle. Dante with four stops today. Half sack to his credit as well. Second down and eight. Approaching a minute to go before halftime. Here's Keith. To the wide side of the field. Sam Kirkland makes the catch at the 37, maybe 38 yard line. And a four man front from the Crimson Tide. High tower in the middle, linebacker position. Batted in the air and falls incomplete. And here comes the Kent State punt team once again today. Terry trying to work that left side gets four on the carry. Kent State's going to give me an opportunity to play running back. Well, they'll play fake to Durham. Keith will throw. That's batted in the air and out of bounds. Incomplete. Bring up third down and six. Dime package. Six defensive backs for Alabama. Flag is down. Pass is caught. That'll be good enough for a first down if it holds up. Went to Matt Hurdle. But a flag down, back at the line of scrimmage. I think it's going to be an offsides penalty against Alabama, so. There's the big board, Trey on Durham. No gain on the play. Courtney Upshaw read the play well, picks up his seventh tackle of the afternoon. Four-man front for Alabama, Keith. Double clutches, pass incomplete, was looking for Tyshawn Good. Keith rolling out. Incomplete. Adeyemi makes the catch, but he was out of bounds. Pressure came from Dante Hightower. Keith to throw. Incomplete. Touchdown, Kent State. Wide open in the middle of the field was the tight end, Justin Thompson. Three-yard strike from his quarterback, Spencer Keith. So here's Kent State out of the eye. Spencer Keith still in at quarterback. That ball is batted in the air. It's Keith is hit right as he lets it go. Jesse Williams getting in there. Out of him, he goes in motion. He'll fake it to him, and Keith will roll out. He's just not been in sync. You see him as he let go of that pass. He's working on getting his shoulders turned. That ball sailing on him a little bit. Boy, expect some pressure. You see Dante Hightower right there. Going around the line of scrimmage. Here they come. And there goes Keith. A loss of seven. First man on the spot, C.J. Mosley, along with Will Lowry. First down and ten. And handoff goes to Jacquees Terry. Gain of a couple on the play. Alex Watkins getting some work. Four-man look by the Tide. Keith dropped again back at the 10-yard line. Quinton Dial gets it on the sack parade. The junior out of Pinson, Alabama. That ball's batted in the air, and then Tyson Good Gets hammered in the process, trying to corral the football. He pops up, but he got leveled. 
Here's Keith. Urjavec can't hang on, and Alabama almost got the football again. Nico Johnson couldn't contain it. That'll give us a chance to check in, get an Auburn update at each. Going deep down the middle. Nearly picked off. Drake Kirkpatrick, good coverage. Third down and ten. Under two minutes to go. Third quarter. Keith. That one's batted in the air. He said he spent a lot of time trying to become also a catching tight end, but misfired on that one. Little handoff to the left side. Brent Calloway. Keith over the middle. Pass complete, but immediately taken to the ground by C.J. Mosley. Sam Kirkland with the reception. Six-yard pickup. Kent State hadn't turned the football over, and Alabama has five turnovers today. The pass is caught, but shy of the first down to the 37-yard line. Let's make it. Seven-yard pickup. Fourth down and three. Here comes some heat, it appears. That one's batted in the air and almost picked off. Mark Barron got up to bat it in the air. We will be over there, Mississippi State and Auburn squaring off. SEC opener, obviously, for those two clubs. Be anxious to get the take from uh, the coaches and players once we get over on campus on Friday morning. Second down and nine. Spencer Keith. Pass is caught. Matt Hurdle makes the reception. Should be good enough for a first down. They'll work the left side. Jacquees Terry gets a couple of yards. How about Kent State? 54 plays, 35 yards, averaging .6 yards per play. Tackle on the outside, Justin Thompson brought down by Phelan Jones, gain of seven. Justin Thompson with the catch, he gets three yards on the play. That'll move the chain, first and ten. Gain of four. Sam Kirkland with the catch. He's getting winded. Trey DePriest getting in on the action for Alabama. Out of Springfield, Ohio. Coaches really like the potential of that young man. Right through the hands of Chris Gilbert. Dropped. John Simpson, the tight end, couldn't hold on. And once again, here's Spencer Keith. <laughs> Dumps it down the middle to Trey and Durham. Trey on that true freshman out of Cincinnati. Gain of seven. Alabama's defense has done a nice job today overall. They've given up a total of 53 yards. Boy, Spencer Keith. Out of Yemi. He might be short of the first down. I think he is. A gain of two. They needed a long three. Kent State only four first downs all afternoon. Kirkland goes in motion. They'll hand it off on fourth and a yard. And... The big man, Treyon Durham, will pick up the first down. That'll be a gain of six. Treyon Durham. He changed to Kent State because he wanted to play running back and not fullback. Terry with the carry. He picks up six. Uh, yeah, until that last pick that he threw. I would have just about agreed with the intelligent that he'd sewn up the, the job, but I think it's still going to play itself out. But overall, 
play action by Keith Urchevec with the reception. That'll be a first down into Alabama territory. Gain of 13. Moving the football a little bit, but this happens to be against about the third team of Alabama. Urchevec with the catch. Just a quick update. Sims, by the way, 5 of 12, 59 yards. Meanwhile, A.J. McCarron, 14 of 23, 226. Can you find some uh, time for Phillip Sims because you need two guys ready. Pass is picked off. Phelan Jones, the senior at a mobile, picks up the first turnover of the game for Kent State today. It'll be the final play of this one. And that will do it. So Alabama begins their quest for a national championship with a 48-7 win over Kent State.